Hello students. Today we are going to do this common laboratory apparatus. All of you know that chemistry is very much linked with the chemical uh, understanding of the chemicals. Now for that you require certain apparatus. In the lab there are apparatus which you can use. So let us study the apparatus which are present in the lab. Test tube. Test tube is the one like a small uh, thin tube. It is the height you can see this 15 centimeter uh, like your uh, small scale. Uh, the height is 15 centimeter and the opening is very narrow. You put the chemical in that and another chemical and see, you can see the changes. Sometimes you are using acid or uh, uh, it might just pop out. You then don't hold in hand, you hold in test tube. If you have to heat it, you do with a test tube holder. So, uh, test tube holder is for clamp, clamping it. And it has got a, uh, it's like a puckered uh, used in kitchen. It holds the test tube and uh, it clamps it. There's an iron rod and there's a handle and you can heat the test tube from below. And whatever the chemical changes takes place, then you can carry out your experiment further. So this is the test tube, test tube holder. Then when you uh, wait for some chemical reaction to take place, slowly you are seeing the changes. So you put in this test tube stand. The test tube stand has got space, you can put it, uh, it will hold it. It will hold it. And when you have completed the experiment, you wash the test tube and there are pegs on this test tube stand. You can put the test tube inverted so it gets dried up. So this is the stand of test tube. Initial experiments will be done with test tube. Test tube is the structure is like this, 15 centimeter tall, 2.5 centimeter broad. This is the test tube holder and this is test tube stand. Now, if you require uh, to do another type of experiment, there are beakers. They are like uh, small glass and the size of beaker will vary. They are like glass. So it might be very 10 ml, 50, 100, 200. The size will vary, but in general the beaker will be like a small glass. This is beaker. And then round bottom flask, flask which has got round bottom. In some experiments, you have to use a round bottom flask. And round bottom flask won't be able to stand by itself. It has to be held by a stand. And then whatever, put a cork, uh, you put a thistle funnel, this thistle funnel and put the chemicals in the round bottom flask. Thistle funnel is like this the funnel by which you will put the chemicals in it it will be held by a uh, clamp and uh, you you can put this thistle funnel here there might be a cork here and uh, put the chemicals in the round bottom flask by the thistle funnel now in the uh, sometimes now this has to be held by a stand. Now flat surfaces cork can stand on itself. Flat surface cork uh, flask can stand on itself. So sometimes you might uh, just carry out some chemical reaction in the flat bottom flask. So this is round bottom flask and this is flat bottom flask. Now this is the conical flask. Conical flask. And here, this is glass funnel. If you have to carry out some experiment, you can put a glass funnel here on the conical glass. Now, you have to have a measuring uh, cylinder. You have to have a measuring cylinder which you can use. They are, they have calibration here, milliliters, uh, like how you have on your uh, cup syrup, cup, small cup, you have calibration on that. Uh, you can see it's 5 ml or 10 ml. 
so he has said way there are calibrations here whatever so suppose you want to take fire and then turn and then whatever you have to take you put into the measuring cylinder again the size of measuring cylinder will vary it can be 5 ml 10 ml 100 ml 500 ml 1 liter whatever the measuring cylinder will you can measure from the take 5 ml take 5 ml and put in the measuring cylinder uh, i mean put in the conical flask from measuring cylinder i'll put in conical flask i might put in test tube also i might put in beaker also i might put in round bottom flask various experiments you can perform and it will vary from experiment to experiment but these are the apparatus laboratory apparatus which are present so test tube test tube holder and uh, test tube stand beaker glass like the size will vary small big 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 same way round bottom flask uh, will uh, will be used then flat surface flat uh, bottom flask because bottom is flat it will be able to stand on its uh, this has to be held by a holder then conical flask measuring cylinder thistle funnel can be put on this round bottom flask flat bottom flask uh, so that you can put the chemicals in a controlled manner the chemicals can be put in the control manner glass uh, glass funnel can be put on this conical flask here again for titration and all you have to use conical flask then evaporating dish if you are carry out some experiment where the evaporation has to take place with salt water evaporation to get back the salt so you have to use evaporating dish it's like a small a uh, porcelain uh, bowl which is used as a evaporating dish so many more uh, are used we'll see further in the lab you find a watch glass this is just a glass like this you can see through normally for a biological experiment if a sample has to be taken on the watch glass and then you take a brush and move it on the slide uh, for uh, seeing this whatever uh, microorganism and in chemistry lab also you can do some small mixing small mixing you can do on watch glass that's a, just a glass you can see through that you can see through that so that's known as the watch glass it is small like this with a slight curve then mortar and pestle pest. some chemicals have to be grounded made into finer powder so we we'll, we have to use this mortar and pestle to crush it crushing whatever chemicals you require tripod stand this stand you can put this burner below this stand and supposing you, know, you have learned uh, conical flask or uh, conical flask can be kept up burner down on this tripod stand tripod stand is having three legs try three legs three legs you can put a burner and you can put a conical flask you can put a conical uh, round bottom flask conical flask flat bottom flask whatever you want you can put in on this tripod stand to heat the chemical and see the chemical reaction taking place so this tripod stand is used for heating then some chemicals may just get heated and popped up so what you put is asbestos sheet normally you put asbestos sheet over this tripod stand so that it heats slowly the heat is not immediate so for some molecules to pop up slowly the heating is uniform by the asbestos sheet which is put on this tripod stand this burner will be below this tripod stand the burner which will provide the flame this is a burning shaft air regulator with air hole gas pipe there will be a pipe actually uh, it's like how you uh, cook at home same way uh, the pipe will be attached to the cylinder you can on and off and when you on and put the lighter 
where there will be flame because the gas is passing through it. It's, a, it's connected to the gas pipe. The Burson burner is used um, is used in laboratory. Then iron stand. Supposing I have to put the conical flask or I have to put the round bottom flask or flat bottom flask, normally round bottom flask in this uh, stand. Stand has a clamp so the uh, top part can be clamped and held, held so that whatever chemicals uh, some uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid you have to put through thistle funnel slowly it, is, it has to be held by the stand and the heating can also be carried out when the uh, sometimes you can use put test tube also in, the, in this iron stand which can be held up and you can heat from below so this is to hold this is the iron stand which can hold um, the flask or test tube also. Now chemicals you will uh, have, we cannot take by pinch. This uh, I have taken sodium chloride or uh, sodium bicarbonate or whatever chemicals, whatever experiment you are doing, you can't say you take by pinch. It is something like spoon, spatula, which, has, which is flat. Spatula uh, will take out the uh, chemicals for measuring and then after measuring the chemicals have to be put. Now when you use test tube normally it will uh, some chemical will get stuck below. So that has to be put water has to be put and it has to be washed by the brush which has bristle it will clean, clean the test tube properly. So this is the test tube brush. Then delivery tube has to be curved. Supposing I have to do experiment of preparation of oxygen, carbon dioxide or anything hydrogen. So what I'll do in the conical flask, in the cork, one side I'll put this uh, tube and the other side I'll uh, put into the gas jar so that the supposing oxygen, oxygen will be collected in the gas jar. So this is the gas jar one part will be put into the gas jar. Gas jar will have a lid. Lid will close it and as soon as you, you think that it is full, then you remove the uh, uh, this delivery tube and close the lid. Now I can carry out uh, experiment with the gas which I have, I have collected in the gas jar. Uh, supposing oxygen, then I put a candle or some stick. If it is oxygen, it will support burning hydrogen, it will burn by itself and like small experiments you can, you will see. This is a trough. If you have to, uh, uh, you can boil this trough, uh, water in this trough and put the test tube so that chemical reaction can take place in the water trough. This is the trough which consists of water. So you can put the test tube or uh, uh, conical flask or anything in the water trough. So water trough is also required in the laboratory. So this chemic, uh, this uh, apparatus are used in the chemical lab for this purposes. You will see many more coming now. Now, uh, re reagents are very important in chemistry. Whenever chemical reaction takes place, you have to add <coughs> certain reagents to see the chemical reaction. So, reagent bottles are arranged in the shelf. A shelf should be there present in the, uh, in the lab. A table and a reagent bot uh, bottle shelf. shelf should be uh, there to take out the chemical and see the chemical reaction. The agents are the chemical which are used for various chemical reactions. Spirit lamp, when you require mild heat, a spirit lamp is used. A spirit lamp, when little heat is required, you use a, take a dust tube there near and the flame, spirit, this alcohol spirit inside which burns, you light the spirit lamp and see the chemical reaction. Sandbar, sand is there and you put the test tube in the sandbar. 
that sand bath is heated and slowly the conduction of heat takes place. Water bath, water is there, you put the test tube in the water bath or conical flask or uh, any flask in water bath. So this is water bath, you can keep this water bath, uh, you should have a water bath in the laboratory, sand bath and uh, water bath, that is heated and you put whatever reaction you have to stay, see in either sand bath or water bath. Now uh, this beehive shelf, shelf, whenever you are collecting gas like oxygen, carbon dioxide, only gas, uh, the gas jar should be kept on this shelf for the uh, to increase it, uh, to make it upward, a shelf is kept below the gas jar, so that is known as beehive shelf, beehive shelf. Then cock borer, cock, cock borer make bore hole in the cock, cock are rubber structure which are put on the uh, flask, conical flask, round bottom flask, the cock is put. So if you want to make hole, pass thistle, funnel or whatever uh, you want to pass, you bore a hole. So these are the cock borer. They bore the hole inside the rubber cock. So this many apparatus are used. Then weighing is very necessary. Weighing is very necessary to uh, put the chemicals. Now this there should be a separate room to put a beam balance, the electronic balance. There should be a separate room which is neat and tidy and dust free and the weighing has so that you have accurate weight. It is not uh, like reaction can have any, any weight. It has to be accurate. Even in milligrams, even the minor one milligram would make a difference in the chemical reaction. So this Beam balance is uh, used in the laboratory to, it, it has to be labeled, the screw has to be labeled properly. This is an elliptical beam balance, uh, it has to be labeled properly. Then there's two balance here, there are adjusting screw and actually it's in a glass box so that even the slight uh, movement of air won't affect the uh, weight of the chemical which you have weighed. So this is the pointer and that would uh, point out the weight, uh, there will be calibration here and this is the beam support, this is a plumb line and this is the scale and it will show uh, the accurate measure in this analytical balance. So this is very important to be there in the chemistry lab. So, a chemistry lab should have all these apparatus, will have all these apparatus. When you go to school, you will see that uh, your school lab has all these apparatus. And there will be a table, there will be a table where you can carry out the experiment. It will have exhaust, if you do any chemical reaction, the gas which is produced will be removed out of the room due to the gas, due to the exhaust. So here, the balances will be there, beam balance, uh, electronic balance will be there so that you can weigh the chemicals uh, on this balances and it will be kept in a separate room so that it is dust free and the there is no disturbance and the weighing is accurate. So all this will be present and there will be a shelf of the reagent bottle because various reagents will be required for various chemical reaction. So in short this was the apparatus which are present in the chemical lab. So mm, the, you should know how the experiments can be carried out. Okay. So please like, share and subscribe.